I've been at Kingswheel Hospital looking at the work that they're doing with Unipart to improve the productivity of the hospital, but most importantly the care that they give patients, and it's been absolutely superb. We like to be able to walk into a room and see how performance is, is, is working. And that's right for patients. Yeah. There would be a tighter range of... What I've seen today is staff who are thinking imaginatively about how they approach their jobs, asking the question, why do we always do it this way? Particularly if they, the answer is, well, we could do something better. Looking to use the best of the techniques from industry and Unipart, working alongside as partners, helping them to improve their processes, but particularly make sure that patients get the benefits as a consequence of that. And as a great bonus, there's also probably financial saving for the organisation as well. We use visual management to be able to provide the teams and the people with accurate data and start to really create that honest and open culture. Communication cells are really liked by staff. We have over 90 in place across our organisation now. So we've got that up to date as well. Yeah. We've got a few gaps on this one as well that yeah. we need to look at. And never mind, I've never had one at all. One of the things that's different about Kings Mill, really, I think, is the relationship they've got with Unipark goes back a number of years. So my sense of it is what, you've, what you see here is two organisations working together with a shared purpose. It's not the usual consultancy or education model of understanding about something and then people having to go it on their own. I think Unipart, as a partner of Kingsmill, really have been together trying to get those shared improvements and benefits, and that's what's really impressive. And this is a relationship now that goes back nearly four or five years. That just shows that people are in here for the long haul and for really making sure that patients benefit. The majority of what we get, 49% of PALS inquiries, is about medication inquiries. Um, so it's not, it's not doom and gloom, it's not people complaining. Luckily we do get very few complaints about the service that we give. We've looked at the way that uh, the patients flow through the hospital. We've looked at some very ambitious work about working outside the hospital with primary care and local authority social care and community services, which I think is very impressive. And we've looked at one department in endoscopy and the work that's gone on there. And uh, I have to say, there's passion in abundance here. And uh, at a time when the NHS is probably in a, in a higher state of concern and anxiety, this is really impressive. Eight minutes, then what you do is calculate it all up, divide it by a certain amount, and then you get your figure, which the first one there is seven minutes. Do you go down to <laughs> six minutes? Is that <laughs> you know? well, you're on, you're here. I'm just competitive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Productive Nons was established by the chief executives in Nottinghamshire. I think there is a real opportunity to look at what's going on inside this organisation, this hospital, and roll it out to not only other hospitals, but actually to primary care, to community services, to the way in which the whole system works together. Um, I, I'm absolutely convinced that the approaches we've seen here today, helping this particular organisation, could be applied more widely in the National Health Service. Now we track, believe it or not, car parts from a supplier to a dealer. A car goes into a dealership and it's, it's on a ramp which could be very similar to your bed situation. You take the car part and you find you haven't got the bit. So the car stays on the ramp for an extra day and the poor old customer hasn't got their car. So all we do is track that part all the way through. It could be anywhere within the world using this sort of approach. And when we came here we said, well, surely that same approach in philosophy can be used within a patient. So the ideas are there, but it's got to be yours because it's your environment. Your I think there is a role for uh, public and private sets of working together, but I think it's a combination of interests. And what I've seen here with Unipart in particular is one, they have a skill set and, uh, and years of experience which they've brought to bear in their own field, which is relevant to healthcare, but they've also been prepared to adapt and operate within the, cu the culture of the National Health Service, challenging where appropriate, but also going with the grain. And I think providing that the relationship between the hospital in this case, the NHS organisation in general, and that provider of services from a different sector can be aligned, I don't see any reason why there isn't much, much more learning for both sides to get. Our communication on a good day is excellent. We knew how many patients were in our hospital at a set time. We knew all our data matched. I'm a big fan of what we've seen today, I have to say. I will now go around for the next two or three weeks talking about this. 
I, I probably will be putting an undue burden on the people at Kingsmill because they may well be getting a, a few phone calls that they uh, could do without. But, but listen, this is something that should be shouted about. This is really good news for the NHS.